HTC Desire A20 looks to be a pretty beast of a device on paper, but let's see how it performs in real. What is up guys, it's Ritesh here from Ritesh Tech and today I'm going to do some benchmarking tests on the all new HTC Desire A20 and we'll see how it fares out with respect to some other devices. We're going to do some processing speed test and then the graphical performance test. First we are beginning with the Antutu benchmark app. So this app benchmarks all the aspects of a device ranging from memory performance to graphics. It will also give an overall score combining the scores of all the aspects. And so now I will quickly start the test and forward this video to the final results. Finally it's done and we can see that the HTC Desire A20 gets a score of 32107. Comparing with other scores we can see it lies somewhere between the LG G3 and the HTC One. So it's a pretty nice score for a 23k device. Considering one more device that you can get in this range is, is a very popular Google Nexus 5 which is also slightly above the Desire A20. One thing to consider, the Nexus 5 has a quad-core CPU clocked at 2.3GHz while this phone has a 1.5GHz quad-core and a 1GHz quad-core CPU making it a 8-core device. For the next benchmark, we are going to use the Quadrant tool. Clicking on the Run Benchmark button and directly looking at the scores that we get, we can see that the Desire 820 again fares out with a decent score of about 18,350. Moving over to the next benchmark, we are going to run the most popular benchmarking app known as Geekbench and again starting the test and rushing through the benchmarking process, we can see that the HTC Desire A20 gets a single score of 696 and a multi-core score of 2574. Comparing it with some other similar handsets, it is far behind the Google Nexus 5 while a pin ahead of the original Moto X which came out back in 2013. So finally judging all the scores, we can say that the Desire A20 is a pretty nice device for this range but keeping in mind the fact that the Google Nexus 5 also comes in the same price range, it is neither a bad choice. One thing to mention, the phone does heat a bit while medium to heavy gaming so this is not for gamers. And yeah, that was pretty much it for this video. I will be covering up some other aspects of the HTC Desire A20 so do remember to subscribe to this channel to get notified about the future videos. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you all in the next one.